Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Yeah. See, uh, there's some envy or some jealousy around you or there's somebody watching you. They're worried about what you're doing, what you have. Maybe because they're worried about what they don't have. I don't I don't know, but whoever this is, they're focused they're focused on you. They're worried about what you're doing. Okay? All eyes are on you for some reason. We'll see who this is, but yeah. Alright. Looks like somebody's coming out of there's someone here. I don't know if this is you feeling some form of doubt, some form of, if somebody feel, felt left out, this is somebody who felt left out in the cold five of pentacles energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And I also have Sagittarius energy here too. And Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Um, if Whoever this was that may be feeling left out in the cold, they're doubting something, or this could be you doubting yourself. Do not doubt yourself if you're doubting yourself, okay? Trust in your, trust in divine timing, trust in your intuition, you know, trust your intuition, intuition about people, about things. Now, this totally could be somebody here who <clears throat> has some insecurities and they may be fearing rejection. Yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold. There is an ending here or something. And a rebirth, a death and a rebirth. So that's an yeah. See whoever this person is, now they want to compromise with you. Now they want to make something work. Mhm. Mm now somebody wants to make something work. And you know what? I'm also getting collective. It's like whoever this person is that wants to make something work. It's like oh, now they're seeing the light. Hmm. Show me what else. This is you seeing the light, too. Some of y'all could be in hermit mode right now. Just in your own thoughts, isolating yourself, thinking about something really long and hard. This is your higher self activating. So if you've been spending a lot of time alone to yourself, meditating or just thinking, getting, having a, this is you coming to a new form of level of self-awareness, basically, collective. You're coming into a new form of self-awareness. This is like... You learning to trust people who are around you with, that don't have good intentions. You're beginning to, you're in this new energy of no longer feel, feeling doubtful or not trusting your intuition. But there is somebody who regrets. There's an energy here that, yeah, this is somebody who you, there's, there's another energy around you who you may have ghosted, cut them off. No longer talking to them, no longer communicating with them. <clears throat> Some of you all could have cut this person off financially, or this person could have cut cut you off at one point just to go work on their money. Maybe somebody all they care about is money. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> this could also be you collective saying, you know what, I'm gonna focus on myself. I'm gonna focus on work okay i'm gonna focus on getting this money okay i don't want to focus on love but there is a connection here there's somebody here that adores you this could be somebody got work too mm. there's somebody who wants to take a leap of faith but they're avoiding it hmm This is past energy. You know who this person is. Yeah. You're avoiding this person. You guys have new love coming in. Either you have a new Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Either this is new love coming in for you, for some of y'all. And there's going to be new love and you may try to avoid it because you might not be ready. You might want to just be focusing on yourself. This is you and this Empress energy, divine masculine or divine feminine. You could be an Empress energy, creating new things, um, being, you know, setting your intentions, being really intentional about how you move, who's or who you choose to be around you. You're loving yourself. Coming to this new form, newfound form of self-awareness. 
you're being that's being activated in you trusting your intuition having confidence in that but there is a past energy around you that you've avoided there's somebody here that you've avoided or there's someone who avoided you i strongly feel like you avoided this person you know show me more here So while you've been focusing on yourself, this person's been thinking about you. Yeah, they've been thinking about you hard. Like, they've been thinking about you like they hard for real. <laughs> this person is like, oh, you look so good. You look so good to them. Yeah, they have a lot of love. But see, they're trapped in their thoughts. And they're frustrated. You know, part of that could be physical, strong physical desire. Like, they're not able to connect with you in the 3d you know <laughs> i feel like you're guarding yourself from this person mm -hmm. you know somebody's going through going through like an emotional roller coaster y'all know that song um who sings that song emotional vivian green go look up vivian green emotional roller coaster i'm on the emotional roller coaster Loving you ain't nothing healthy. Mm -mm. Loving you was never good for me. Loving you was never good for me. I'm telling you, look, you were vulnerable with this person, but now you're guarded. Oh, there's that divine masculine. <laughs> oh, show me more about the situation, spirit. Try to connect with peace. Denial. Somebody is in denial that the situation could be over. They're trying to overcome some inner conflict and they need but they need to heal some past energy first because they're in some form of an unhealthy cycle. Um or somebody's having some issues detaching. Like somebody's failing to accept. Yeah. What's that? There's an energy of somebody spending some time alone or away. From someone else and whoever's been spending time alone has been like totally reflecting like seriously this person is you know they've been reflecting because they're in this energy of thoughts isolating retreat spending time alone avoiding okay avoidance is here right Tell me more here about this situation. <clears throat> yeah, this is somebody you ended it with. Separation, a breakup. You're stopping the pattern. Silent treatment. You're not talking to them anymore. Yeah, but somebody is still thinking about the memories. <clears throat> somebody is still thinking about the memories. Engagement ring. Completion union. Okay. So somebody wants to come in a union with you, yeah. That soulmate card just popped out. I think you got a different energy here. This is a different person. You guys have a new soulmate, another person, aside from this other person. There's someone that hand the cards here, taking a, a risk, taking a, a chance, being strategic, not showing their hand, right? That's that take a risk and leap of faith energy here. Engagement ring, soulmates, and I like you. Like, all of that is here. So you have a totally different energy here that this person is, sees you as like somebody they can be in a long-term commitment with someone. But they haven't like said anything to you for some reason. They haven't said anything to you. They haven't told you that how much they really like you. They haven't shown their hand. They're keeping it to themselves for some reason. Or if this if this person does, when this person comes towards you, it might be necessary collective for you to keep this connection to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Remember, because there is somebody who's watching you, okay? I do feel some jealousy, some envy. So be careful about who you tell your business to, okay? Or it could totally be the energy of this person who's watching you. I do feel like the past is watching you and they're upset that you're not communicating with them. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. Mirroring each other. So twin flame energy here. 
mirror, and then we have coffin. So, listen, we know already know that there was a, a prior ending to a certain situation, but we also know with the coffin, endings bring new beginnings, and you're growing and you're changing. Remember, you're becoming your higher self. You're tr you're trusting your intuition. You're setting healthy boundaries with other people or this past person for sure that had you on this emotional roller coaster. You're more in tune with your higher self and trusting that and no longer feeling like you're in this, this doubting yourself energy. You're not doubting yourself anymore because you're going through this rebirth process. Hence coffin <clears throat> but somebody wants to talk to you i don't know if this is this new person this new like admirer or this is the person who this soulmate this new energy they want to talk they want to talk all right for some of y'all somebody could be a photographer or something <clears throat> let's see show me more here about the situation for the collective <clears throat> yeah see look you're like listen it, Listen, it's time for a change. Can you see that? It's time for a change. Big changes. Spirit wants you to trust in divine timing. Trust the process, okay? Because something better is coming. And whatever this better thing is, it's going to require some form of a commitment. It's going to be like, remember we saw earlier agreement, settlement, agreement, compromise. So this could be the energy of your past person saying, okay, I'm, I'm ready to compromise. I'm ready to you know change i'm ready to change i've changed i'll change for you you know or this is a new person i really strongly feel like for a lot of y'all you've changed who you are you changed your viewpoint you know what i mean you just feel differently and you're setting boundaries and i don't feel like you're <clears throat> i feel like you've been nice but you're not going to be nice for too much longer Finance is building. Yeah, you're focusing on yourself and not focusing on love. You're focusing on your focusing on your stability. We saw that earlier. Where's that hamster wheel card? And remember, hamster wheel came out with um, Ace of Cups. <laughs> this Ace of Cups. Where did it go? Yeah, it was like, nah, I'm gonna focus on this. And then spirit is like, yeah, well, boom. Here's that love. So you've been like in this energy of getting money. Doing better for yourself. Some of you guys have multiple options too. You've been really focusing on setting. You're moving very intentional. You've been moving very intentional. You could be a fire sign. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Look at this. Aries, strong, strong Aries energy here. This is you having. We have fire sign, and then we have. It's safe for you to love. Take an action. Take leap of faith. And it is safe. So there is going to be, there's a strong energy around you um, taking a leap of faith. A leap of faith came out earlier too. In a different day. Oh, here we go. Here's that past energy. Whoever this person is who was dishonest with you. Who were, they were disloyal. They cheated. This, this person is either going to come back. Or you're afraid that if you take this new leap of faith with this new person, that they could do you the same. Follow your intuition. Trust your gut. It's not going to lead you astray. Remember, you are in your higher self. So trust in that. You are in your higher self. Spirit says, trust. Happiness. Yeah, see, look what's coming towards you. Happiness. Somebody who's going to make you real happy. Somebody who's kind. You know, you're going to be experiencing new things, having a wonderful time. That's what Spirit is probably telling you to do here. Focus on the good. Don't focus on the what if or, you know, what, what could happen or with this new person. Now, if this is the energy of the past person who was deceptive and lied to you in the past and they were just honest and they cheated, they had multiple options and they were seeing multiple people while they were seeing you, then guess what? Trust your, trust your gut. Spirit said, continue to focus on your own happiness, your own new beginning. Trust your intuition. Trust in divine timing that something better is going to be coming. Because guess what just came out? The awakening. Spiritual awakening. Seeing this for what it is. Like I said. Seeing it for what it is. 
Like, hello? <clears throat> this is you for seeing something for what it is. This doubt card came out in reverse. You're no longer having doubts about anything. You're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're in this rebirth energy. Some of y'all have blocked somebody. You cut them off or cut, cut certain energy off. Okay, I could be talking about twin flame here. Let's pick the deck up and see what's on the bottom of the deck. It's a twin flame. Okay. And there's your divine masculine. So, so this divine masculine who could be your twin, there's a soulmate here that's somebody totally different. Hmm. That's this person. That twin, yeah, your twin is going through a dark night of the soul. I feel like you just came out of this energy. So your twin wants to face their fears. They do. They want to face, yep, as soon as I said that, look what came out. They want to face their fears and their demons is what I was getting ready to say. We have bad influences here. You know, these people, friends that are hanging around. This person could have a, dr a drug habit or an alcohol or some form of habit, even maybe even sex. You know, I don't know. Because we did see lust and desire here earlier. Yeah, this is the person you set boundaries from. Boundaries. Can you all see that? Boundaries. So it's like, I definitely feel like you you, you set boundaries with somebody here, right? Because remember, that's what we saw earlier. Cut off, ghosted, blocked. This person could have ghosted you and, you know, had you in some form of emotional roller coaster, like we said earlier. Uh, but I think for some of y'all, that's the way it could have went. Um, for, for others of you, you, you cut off communication. You chose to do that for yourself. But it's like... This person could. I'm going to give this person some some points, too, because this could also be the, this person being in this, this divine masculine who's your twin. Um, they could be wanting to really cut off this toxic behavior. Them going through this dark night of the soul is what's causing them to see all of the bad stuff around them, all the toxic attachments, all of their bad behaviors, where and how they participated in this shit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Take action, good change. Did not just say that? Take action and good change. So yeah, maybe your twin is going to be coming to some form of, and then we have marriage. Forever commitment. I mean, maybe that's what your person wants. Show me more here for the collective. Yeah, but it's like you're not going to be able to trust this person. I don't see you being able to trust them fully. You know, I really don't. Ashamed. Yeah, I told you this. Yeah, this person is embarrassed about the things that they did. Or the things that they did to you or their behavior. They're ashamed. Look at this. It's like for some of y'all, this person can't even face you. They can't even look you in the face. They can't even look themselves in the mirror. Shit. Right? Wow. Show me more here. Show me more. Yeah. The two of you were on two different pages. You just had two different perspectives you know different pages different perspectives you know both of you had if you desire different things in life i feel like you know somebody here um wanted to be work on their money work on their finances you know what i'm saying remember we saw that like you were in this energy of like i'm gonna focus on my money i'm gonna focus on my career i'm gonna focus on um you know, building wealth, getting my blessings, right, finances, and then we have power couple. Sorry, y'all can see that. You know, you're trying to build a legacy. You're trying to build an empire. And this person was too busy doing other stuff. <laughs> they were holding back facts from you. They were in this dishonest seven of swords energy. Holding, keeping secrets from you. Like... I don't know what else they expected for you to do. But, yeah, obstacles, differences together. 
over this person wants you you know what this person wants your support and your love and your energy to help them get through this dark night of the soul and i'm just gonna say this i feel like like i said earlier y'all were like in this loving kind energy with this person at some point and then now it's like it's not your responsibility to save anybody you are not captain save a hoe you know you are responsible for saving yourself okay nobody's coming to save you you are responsible for saving yourself and you do you are not you do not, and I repeat, you do not have to do shit for anybody or this person. This person is going to have to move through the valley in the trenches. They were not in the gym with you shooting. When you were doing your healing, where were they? Well, where were they? Show me more. Look, and as I say that, what were they doing? Where were they when you were doing your healing? Look, this is you. Spirit said, better now. You're healing wounds within the relationship. I feel like this is you healing wounds within yourself. Does this person want to heal wounds and overcome obstacles with you? Yes. But I feel like, collective, you did what you needed to do. This person got me hyped tonight. <laughs> I'm so mad because I feel like this person took your kindness for your weakness. And, and then there's like this expectation for you to just start over with them, I don't know, and be okay. Um, you can forgive somebody. Everybody has free will, but look, you decided I'm not gonna waste any time anymore. You know what I mean? They were this person was afraid to commit. They weren't able to give you what you wanted, and you were like, you know what? Okay, cool, cool. I don't want to play games anymore. And there's your soulmates. There's your soulmate. I'm not going to waste any more time. That was you saying, you know what? I'd rather wait on divine timing when divine says it's the right time when I find the connection with my soulmate. Y'all have a soulmate coming in real soon. That's the second time a soulmate card has, has come out tonight. Yeah. This person had you. This I'm telling you, this person was doing all kind of other reckless stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, and I feel like somebody wasn't seeing things clearly. You're seeing things clearly now. That your person, that this person you're, you're avoiding and refusing to accept the reality of the connection. Okay. For a long time, I feel like y'all were avoiding this, so you didn't see something. You know, you didn't see it for what it was. You didn't see, you see how this person's face is all scratched out? This says hazy vision. This person has their hands over this, their eyes. You know, the person in this in this card has this hoodie on and it's covering their eyes. But guess what? Somebody can see. Somebody can obviously see now. They're coming into some form of clarity because they feel tuned in, tapped on. What does um Abraham Hicks say? tuned in, turned on, tapped on, or whatever. This person is all of that now because look at this. Eyes wide open. They're plugged in. <laughs> They're plugged in. They're tuned in. They're turned on. They're connected now. It doesn't matter though because you're not going to trust this person. If, like I said, it's gonna, there's a strong need to set boundaries with this person. Okay. If they're coming back in. Let's pull a few more cards. I'm sorry this reading was so long, but they got me hyped. Look at this. The fool came out again. We have seen, how many times is this energy here of new? New, new, new. Somebody wants to start over, take a risk, take a leap of faith. And I feel like this is energy of this divine masculine twin who was in this toxic energy. But you have something else new coming in with a soulmate. Where are those leap of faith cards at? Okay, here's, a, here's one. Some of y'all could be in Aries or dealing with an Aries. Somebody's ready to jump off the cliff. And they're like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go now. All right. Yeah, somebody's like, let's go now. What is going on, though? What's this a regret about? Five of Cups? Somebody's in strong pain. Somebody's in pain. 
this is somebody you were afraid that you might be rejecting them or they're not seeing something for what it is. They're focused too much on the negative instead of the positive. This could be you. Uh-oh. Let me see what that was. <coughs> okay. The Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Energy. Head over heart energy. Cutting somebody off. Yeah, you could be cutting off this King of Wands. There's more fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Yeah, they want to work on this with you. I'm telling you, but it's not gonna work. Nine of Swords, stress and anxiety. You know, somebody's definitely in stress and anxiety. And ooh, there's a choice. You guys are gonna have a choice. You're gonna have a choice in between a divine connection between a twin and between a soulmate. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, while you've been healing, working on your money, right? Remember I said you were in this Empress energy. I'm going to put these cards down because I'm going to show you this in a second. What was under the day? This is you. You have been in this Empress energy, right? Remember I said you were leveling up, believing in yourself. Empress energy, creating something new. The next card is the Hermit card. Virgo energy, Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy. Okay. So you're in this hermit, you're thinking, you're wiser now, you you know, you're leveling up spiritually, you're having a spiritual awakening, right, in this energy. And look at what's on the bottom of that, the Queen of Cups, like I said. You were in this Queen of Cups energy and you were like, oh shit, the Scorpio energy here, the Death card. Everything I said to y'all a minute ago is literally telling this story in tarot, so that's why I want to show y'all. Queen of Cups energy in the Death card, this used to be you. And then you started thinking about it and you started healing. Oh, shoot. Look at this. The star. I'm going I'm to show y'all this. Hold on. Then you started thinking about it, right? And then you turned into this, from this queen of cups to this empress. I'm going to work on my money. Ten of pentacles. And I'm going to heal. Temperance. I will wait. I will focus on my legend. I will focus on my career. I will focus, focus on my home. I will focus on my finances. I will focus on my family. Uh, I'll wait. I will be patient and heal and wait for a balanced connection. I'll wait for this family dynamic. I'll wait for the person I'm supposed to be with. I'll wait for this commitment that I really want. That was the energy that you were in. Okay. The energy you, to get here though, to get here collective, to get to this energy, you went through this. The high priestess. Literally, this was you. I'm going to show y'all. Okay. You and this high priestess energy, Pisces energy, you're like, oh, I need, I need to make some changes. I'm not trusting my intuition. I'm going to change that. Because this is what I would have been showing up as. People just been taking advantage of my kindness for my weakness because you've been too nice. Okay, you know what? I need to heal that within myself. Now I know this is what I need to heal. Okay, bet. Because you were in this Eight of Swords energy. This truth had come to you. This truth came to you and it was very shocking. This, you, were, you were stuck in your own head. And this Eight of Swords is about the, the mental battle within you. Or feeling trapped. A sense of trap. Right? The Tower card. The Tower literally is this is shocking and it happened to you so you you wear like i said earlier they weren't with you shooting in the gym when you were in this energy you know look at this this is the star of the high priestess in death this was rough this was rough which is hence why you are in this queen of swords energy now looking at this king of wands like you can come over here but i got this sword for you <laughs> Ooh, y'all, I don't know. That was a reading. I love y'all hit the like button. Um, oh, wait. I forgot to tell you about these other cards. Remember I said that other person, the Divine Masculine, is now in this Nine of Swords energy. They can't sleep, you know. Um, or this could be you. This is going to be you. I feel like this is going to be y'all. You're going to be in this Nine of Swords energy. Two of Swords, Two of Wands, 
Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. These are all cards about choices and options. Like I said earlier, you're going to have plenty of options. Okay, Gemini energy here, Libra energy here, okay, and Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. It's like you're gonna have you're gonna be stressed out over which option to choose. But like Spirit is saying, don't be stressed about who you want to give your time and your energy into. It's like you just don't know. It's like you just don't know. You know, two of wands. I don't know yet. I'm waiting. I'm thinking about the future. I don't know what you know there's a decision to make. Six of Pentacles, equal, reciprocity. You know you want something that's going to be equal, give or take. And then lovers. So some of y'all might have two people giving to you or want to give to you, and you're going to have to make a choice. I think both connections are very passionate and strong. Obviously, we have a twin flame dynamic and a soulmate here. So maybe that's why you're going to be in this nine of swords energy. So spirit is just kind of really trying to tell you, trust your intuition, don't doubt yourself. You know, and, and and think about was it this person was not in the gym shooting with you when you were going through your own awakening. You have free will, you can do what you want. It does look like this person is changing, but I don't know I don't see them offering anything. But anyway, you make your own decision. I love y'all, okay?